So there's this uh, this new video, uh, Sir David Attenborough, um, talking about an initiative that somebody from the royal family, I can't remember if it was Philip or Charles or, you know, whoever our next king is. Gross. Um, the, uh, the thing that I want to talk about though is that the, they're talking about this uh, this innovation challenge. I forget the name of it. I'll look it up and put it over here. But the, um, the, the problem I have is this. Like so many people, and I would put Bill Gates in the same category, um, you know, really brilliant, well-intentioned people focus way too much on like new innovation to solve the climate crisis as if we don't have the technology we need right now, the policies we could use right now, you know, to dramatically reduce our greenhouse gas footprint. Like instead of increasing it, we could definitely be decreasing it. Uh, this, this false narrative that we need new technology to be able to actually face this challenge. and. You know, truth be told, there's many, many things that we're not doing right now, uh, you know, in terms of transit, housing, heating, electricity production. I mean, it's cheaper now to produce electricity with solar than to use with fossil fuels for new projects. Uh, many of these older projects are reaching their end of life. Like, why don't we just focus on replacing the major power plants, like one at a time specifically, you know, uh, measurably reducing greenhouse gases at the local level. Like, to me, that's really, where rubber hits the road, we need better idioms. The, <laughs> the thing I'm trying to say uh, is this, like, let's just get real about doing what we can with what we already have. You know, like, sure, talk about uh, new inventions and stuff uh, as well, but it, it shouldn't be replacing a sense of urgency around doing more with what we actually can at the moment. Um, you know, it's a distraction from, you know, real action and, and we just don't have time for that anymore. Okay.